So uh, my today's topic is API security maturity model reference architecture. Then why why do I want to talk about this? Um, API security is a, a big concern in the mo most organizations because uh, you know more and more organizations using the modern application architecture using microservices. The uh, uh, I probably I I think you are, you guys are very familiar with microservice architecture. When you build a microservice architecture, then the, those microservices are connected. Then the um, uh, because of that, uh, there's network traffic. The majority of the network traffic. I I found the information log the. And show the that the uh, five top uh, top. Okay, sorry. Uh, that the five data breach happened only in the last two thousand. In two thousand twenty-two alone, uh, more than the twenty-seven million. How? In the API. And if you think about the, uh, does anyone know the uh, how many population? I think about the total population in Singapore. The data, personal data is was was it just in the source of the API? Then you might be wondering the. Uh, then why the such a big company, big social media company, and government agency, big telecommunications, and one of the biggest manufacturing companies in the world, why their security team failed to stop the those attacks? Okay. Because if you think about the, their uh, their size of the investment for the cybersecurity. Much bigger than the million dollar, and they already hired skilled, experienced, and talented deal with the cyber security, right? But why? Why do smart guys, big enterprise and government fail to stop the entire attack? Now, if you think about the today, today's data set, data center. Um, the most organization probably already have those advanced like a sandbox, web application firewall, next generation firewall, next generation. But if you think about the how solutions are working, protect them. They have the one common goal: uh, protect the Protect the data asset of the enterprise. How? So they all actually are trying to find the malicious and suspicious script or file in the payload. Right? That's how they work. But the problem is when you uh, when you expose those REST API and GraphQL API to the internet to the public. Now, problem is once the attackers are targeting the API, it logically bypasses the whole all of your why, how, because of the two reasons. First, as long as you post the new API to the public, most cases, most organizations, APIs that Tightly coupled. Sometimes one API call can uh, no, uh, can provide the millions of for the uh, for the organization, right? Because of that, the most cases, security team does not want to interrupt or make the additional delay in the API. That's why, whenever the API team 
and the application team published the new API in security organization as those API to allow the as the number one and even that at the bowl will have to deal with second problem. So the second second reason attackers they do not the malicious for then how they are how are they they are actually exploiting the business model. You probably heard about the attack technique named BOLA or BFRA. How, how it works, how BOLA works. BOLA actually object ID, the API URL, parameter. Just point to the No more, no more malicious, and even the no source. That's why there is million dollar of not this Okay, then what about the OAP? What OAP are saying about the API capture? Right? So uh you know the currently, the official and latest version of the OAP API top 10. I know that there is a was only of the will be a 2023 version of the OAP API top 10, but still 2019. In in the OAP API top 10, get the top 10 vulnerability. We actually categorize top 10 vulnerability. Access control, network security, and application security. And a five of the vulnerabilities can be categorized on the access. One vulnerability can be categorized on network security. And four vulnerabilities can be categorized on. What I want to say in this slide is you know, you need to have the clear understanding, clear definition. Whenever you meet the API security vendor, the uh, identity vendor, then they probably want to talk about the access control. Why? Because they want to sell the product. If you meet the application security vendor, they only talk about the application security problem. Same reason. And if you meet the network security vendor, they also want to talk about the network security problem. Right? The truth is, if you really want to build the complete protection for your API, you need to consider at least, at least, and these goals normally cannot be supported. Then, how can we build a, a correct test? So that's why the many experts recommend fancy that. In other words, layered That's the, uh, that's the, from my humble opinion, that's the only way to provide the complete. Right? So, access control, network security, and application. Access control normally means using the OAuth. And there is another. Uh, common misunderstanding about that. So many people think OAuth, once you are using the OAuth, okay, I'm done. I already have the very advanced level of the access control. No. OAuth is just the, your starting point. Definitely OAuth is always recommended way. However, you are already that does not mean that you have uh, you know, the advanced access control in your API system, right? You need to 
uh, uh, you know, how how can you design the OOS token exchange and what brand type you are using need to use you know, such a thing uh, required 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 something. So, API chain requires from the access control and toxic Now, let's talk about the API security first. We think uh, API security, uh, you know, organization readiness can be uh, defined with the five different. First level is level one. Level one understands the importance of the API Why why the the level one? Because many organizations, as I already mentioned, many organizations so still still does not have still don't have the clear understanding definition of the API security and what are the minimum requirements. I saw, uh, I saw many organizations just purchase one solution, one box or one piece of the software, solve the all the API security. Just solve the API security problem. Think about the uh, you know, design. Design and architectural approach of the problem. That's why the level one. That's the uh, uh, first step. Second step, level two. Uh, you need to have the you need to consider the right API gateway product, traffic, and at least basic authentication. Basic authentication, at least. Uh, it can be an API. But again, API key not recommending. Maybe uh, I can I can quickly share the one of my. Just a few months ago, I had a that I had the two topic. In first topic was API security. Second topic was first. Topic. Okay, and in the in my first topic, I asked my. Hey, uh, by the way, what which access control method are you using your internal API among the Microsoft? Then he said, oh, and that's the internal API. Internal API means already trusted. Okay, so we don't have any authentication method for the internal API. Then we move to the next topic. Please tell me how can you build the zero trust. Just told me the 10 minutes ago, you don't need to have the authentication method. Now that you are asking me how to build the zero trust, right? Oh, at least API key. But again, API key is not recommended. Okay, but minimum. What is the rebel key? All success. All us always recommend once we uh, then we call it but once you call the the react then what is the Probably heard about the WAAT, WAP. WAP is the terminology Gartner introduced, not introduced by it. the Gartner terminology. According to the Gartner, WAAT is the solution of the web application firewall and existing the web application firewall feature plus code mix. Yes. Then you can call it WAAT, WAP. 
once you have the WAP, uh, 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 it has to uh, flow proactive system. What's the level five? Level five requires behavioral monitoring. Behavior is using the AI and monitoring. Once you five, then we call it predictive. Then what is the reactive active security and the predictive? The active security something already happened. So some bad traffic and attack already forwarded to your API endpoint. Then after that you place place the protection or do something. That is a reactive. Then what is the proactive? Proactive means uh, before uh, before the problem happens, your security solution can place the real time blocking. So the attack, actual attack traffic does not forward it the uh, API end. So before forwarding that traffic, pre solution can stop it. Then we can call it. Then what is the predictive? Predictive Attack is not happen. Attack does not happen. However, a uh, predictive find can find the potential, uh, potentially possible cause. The AI can call it. Let me give you the two examples later slide. But before talking about uh, those examples, uh, uh, I want to how. So the first uh, first step go uh, meaning that the required then proactive that WAAP required access point. Then uh, you can as a last step the AI and how do proactive and predictive work together? So once the predictive find the uh, potential possible the future attack weak from the network, then can can the those finding the proactive to upgrade to update the think the proactive. So only in that way can manage the uh, your existing the proactive policy the latest. Then let me explain the uh, some example of the uh, proactive. So this is the uh, example of the PFRA attack, broken function level authority. So we have the two users in here. Let's say the uh, So we wow at top policy. But uh, in case in case of the user, uh, the group normal user has the top, so not allow. This is a very uh, basic access control prevent the PFRA attack, but this is definitely necessary one. And what good example of the uh, proactive? What is the example of the? It's a shadow API. Probably heard about the. Let's say the API team public API in the inventory using the Swagger file. Okay, then team comes in and do the. The traffic analysis, then discover the only guy, put the those file, and update. This is the uh, closed loop, uh, update your uh, API swagger file. Then, then, once, 
gate, this thing policy, your API gateway, then that is the proactive. And again, call it rumor. Okay. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. So this is the uh, reference architecture uh, by the F5 and recommended first layer called the application the WA second layer the uh, architecture of the API gate so first perform the all necessary So then, how can you start your job? Probably, well, and then first step, upgrade your existing application firewall, WAA. Okay, then provide the required firewall. Then. Consider upgrade your auto page, perform the uh, advanced. Action. Then I can work with identity server like OSA, uh, OS0, and identity and Microsoft. So, for this environment, you need to consider the. So, Final step: the AI and machine learning technology to collect all the required data, the necessary. So uh, this is the uh, how the pro and predict can work together, provide a more complete and end Okay. So. Last, last slide. So, um, want to learn more about NX and F5 and API system? Uh, we we have a, have a virtual hands on event of the May days event. So, register. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much, James, for your talk on API system. Question. Going back. How can I? Uh, yeah. The, just the, the reason why the, uh, so uh, first thing you know if you think about it that is normally by the type owner public then uh, in most cases does not want their security guys access to their API gateway frequently their policy, uh, they don't want it. Because sometimes that can be service interruption, stability of the API traffic. So that's, that's the first reason. Number two reason. But most cases, most uh, data, uh, data breach happened because of the API. The root cause is uh, related. That's why the system must have the those API access. Our solution provide the auto, but not by the So in that way, you can have the visibility and the uh, control for the API access. So 
at least enterprise wide have the then the inner API gate application team their own traffic optimizer uh, all the by the API. But I agree, there is a cost, the additional effort. But as, well, as usual, the we balance. James, sorry, answer. I would like to invite Gabriel for our next talk. Thank you very much, James. Thank you so much.